All right, if you saw the last video, it was about pressure transducers and, uh, you know, how to scale them, like in, say, Picoscope. In this video, we're going to look about how to interface the voltage supplies to the pressure transducers, whether it be, like, say, a 12-volt pressure transducer or, say, a 5-volt pressure transducer. Now, there's a lot of ways that you can do this. You can use perf boards. You can use point-to-point -point methods. And if you're in the old days, you can even use a wire, way, a wire wrap method. But in this video, we're going to do a printed circuit board, two of them. And so I've got Zach over here, my assistant, and he's going to be helping me through the process. And so let's go ahead and we'll see, see what this takes. The first thing I wanted to do is pick out an enclosure. So I picked out an enclosure and I drew it up and I made a 3D model of it, as you see here. Now I wanted this here enclosure to have connectors on it for the sensors, for the battery that's coming in, and also for the BNC jack that's going out to the scope. So I went ahead and I popped some holes in it in the 3D model so I know where my connectors would be. And knowing where the holes would be, then I'll make a dimensional drawing to know where I can pop those holes at. And this is the 3D model of where the connectors will be at. So my next step is to know what is the size of the printed circuit board is going to be. So I went ahead and I drew that up in the 3D model also. And then I would have a dimensional drawing as a reminder of what the dimension should be. There was a couple of components that I needed to draw up in the 3D model to know what uh, they should be. So I went ahead and made a dimension of a, a particular resistor that I needed. The other component that I needed was for a capacitor and also so I would know what the footprint would be. Here's a layout of the printed circuit board for the 12 volt sensors for the pressure transducers. And I put some notations on there so I would know what color wires I would be using when I finally built the board. And this is pretty much the same thing except this for the 5 volt sensors. Again, it's just notations of mind of what, what color wires are going to be used on the male headers. This is the layout of the printed circuit board for the 12 volt pressure transducers. And this is a layout of the printed circuit board for the 5 volt pressure transducers. This is a printout of the printed circuit board with the components in place for the 12 volt pressure transducers. And this is a layout of the printed circuit board for the 5 volt pressure transducers. This is what it should look like inside of the enclosure. The printed circuit board inside is for the 12 volt pressure transducers. And this is what the enclosure should look like with the printed circuit board for the 5 volt pressure transducers. So after the Gerber files and the drill files were sent out, the boards were manufactured. So the board that you see that's on the left is for the 12 volt pressure transducers and the board that's on the right is for the 5 volt pressure transducers. Here you can see the two printed circuit boards with their components soldered in place. The board that's on the left is for the 12 volt pressure transducers. The one on the right is going to be for the 5 volt pressure transducers. Here you can see the PC boards. You can see now that I have the female headers on there with the wires in place. Okay, this is with the 12 volt pressure transducer board that's inside the enclosure. And here we have the 5 volt pressure transducer board that's inside the enclosure. And right, this is with the enclosures to have uh, they got the tops on them now. Okay, so we can see that we marked off and labeled the uh, connectors. This is one for the 12 volt pressure transducer. So we can see here it is a BNC connector. It's going to go to the scope. And this is going to connect out to the battery that's on the vehicle. Okay, so now let's get, see the beauty of these here connectors. So I can take these two pressure transducers. They each require a 12 volt supply. So I put a yellow heat shrink around so I would know that these are going to be 12 volt sensors. And I also wrote on there, you know, there's 12 volts so I can look at it. Now what I do is I'll come back and I'll go and I'll just slide it in. And then that one is already made up. All right, so now we need to take care of the cable for the battery. So we're going to take that and we're going to take him and we'll just plug him in and then we'll have him ready. And then the final thing is we take our coax cable, we hook him on, turn him, 
and he's already set. So this is all ready to go. Now, of course, I can do the same thing with the 5 volt pressure transducers. So then I would come back and I will get this one. So any sensor that I have rated for 5 volts, you can notice that I put a purple heat shrink on this and I wrote on there 5 volts. And again, it's the same thing. So I'll just use this box to get my 5 volts. Put it in, screw it up, it's all done. Connectors on each side here is the same identical to the other one. There's one final thing that I'm going to add onto this here enclosures, and that's going to be a nest hook because I don't like enclosures laying over top of an engine and your cables are laying over top of the engine and they can pick up ignition noise, you know, from the spark plug wires and whatnot. So this is what I came up with. This is what I came up with. I just took some Velcro strips here and I just used some S hooks to hang it up on top of the hood. And as you can see, this will go out to the scope. This will go over to the battery, which is there. And then on the back side, we have the uh, pressure transducer connector and that'll go down. So all these cables will be lifted up. Okay, that's gonna wrap this video up and we hope you enjoyed it. And if you do, subscribe, like the video. And finally, Zach, is there anything that you'd like to ask? Um, nope, I understand it at all. You understood it all? So the next time you can build a printed circuit board, right? Sure, why not? Alright guys, you take care. We'll see you in the next one. Bye. Bye.